Hey there, okay, it's video number 27, and this is going to be video number 11 of a module 2. Alright, let's go over to our trading station, and what we're going to talk about here is the um, envelopes. Alright, um, I've already got the envelopes applied to the chart. Oh, wow, well, that's just popped up another 20, 30 odd pips. So we're now 200 pips up now on that trade, so that's awesome stuff. All right, okay, what I have on the chart here is basically two sets of the envelopes indicator. So we go over to the navigator section, and then we locate the envelopes. All right, just simply left click and drag and drop, and your first one is going to look similar to this. So what I would like you to do is to type in period 14, if, if 14 period is not already in there. Um, leave it to simple, leave this apply to close and set the deviation to 0.10%. Go over to your colors and this time choose red. All right, the upper and lower band. All right, they both need to be red. Okay, and red is located right there. All right, don't worry about the thickness of the lines. Those are perfectly fine. Click OK. All right, so now you should have this red line and this red line on the chart. All right, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go on to the envelopes indicator again. Left click drag and drop and you'll get this property box that comes up leave it to period 14 simple close but this time I want you to change the zero uh, the deviation to 0.20 percent then go over to your colors and this time I want you to change them to blue which is right there all right and then go ahead and click on OK and this is what you get all right now the object of this particular currency pair to find buy and sell signals are as follows. Now the currency prices need to fall below the blue line. Now the blue line represents your deviation of 0.2 percent. Okay, you want this to close, um, actually fall below the zero, uh, sorry, the, the, the blue line, the 0.2 percent deviation, but you want the currency price to close inside of the first envelope and the second envelope, all right, inside its deviation. So here, this one here is 0 0.1 deviation, and this is 0 0.2 deviation, and we want it to close inside those two lines, inside those two deviations. And you can see, indeed, if I um, zoom in and go back to the beginning, you can see, indeed, that this is where this current uh, this uh, this bar right here actually closes inside the minus one uh, sorry inside the 0 0.1 and the 0 0.2 deviation so that's good so then we go along on the next bar okay now when to close out well it's, it's pretty hard to say when to close out but you can target either the previous body length of whatever this length is and then you can target that as a TP so you can take it from the top here to the bottom and that says 13 pips so you could target 13 pips if you want to um, or you can target the next previous high or you can target the next deviation upper band as you take profit target so you would have got in here and your you know take profit would have been about there for 30 pips or 33 pips and there it is you've got hit all right the same is um, true likewise for the short trades and that's when you see the market prices pop out above the upper bands these two here that we just talked about the 0 0.2 and the 0 0.1 deviation bands these are the low, lower deviation bands okay and then for short trades we look at the higher deviation bands this is also 0 0.2 and that's also 0 0.1 but there are upper bands of the deviation and then we want to see the currency prices break above and then we want it to close inside the 0 0.2 and the 0 0.1 deviation area and there it is and we go short on the next bar all right and we can target the next deviation 0 0.1 level or we can target the 0 0.2 0 0.1 will probably be your best bet to target all right let's see if we can show you some more examples uh, okay so here we can see that the market is coming below the 0 0.2 low um, deviation we're trying to look for a buy trade here so we're looking at the lower part of the deviation we can see it's breaking out here and we can see a couple of areas um, I mean I, I prefer to like look for the next bar to break um, above but this one here it did actually break the bar but it didn't close above the bar alright so what I tend to do is look for another one here's one it breaks below the bar but this one here doesn't actually break inside it doesn't close inside um, the 0 0.1 0 0.2 deviation as we keep on coming lower 
we can see that this is a, um, a break below and then here's a buy trade opportunity there now I prefer to do these on green candles or on buy candles uh, bull candles um, if anything all right so you've got that momentum behind that trade already all right and then go ahead and target the next part of the um, the 0.1 deviation band so here's where you would probably go in to go long it did come down by about 17 pips but later it did hit the um, the 0.1 upper um, deviation band for 15.9 pips now you can do this all day long um, you know and just pick up 10 15 pips here and there and just set a target of like two perfect trades a day I'll tell you what you'll be on your way you'll be on your way to making many thousands of dollars all right so that is the uh, the envelopes indicator all right so I will leave you with that one for the moment um, practice this little setup here for two to three days and then uh, move on to the next one all right so until then I'll see you very soon bye for now